think it's gonna get banned? That's the question of the week. Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. Welcome to Week in My Life vlog. I'm so excited to vlog. This entire week for you guys, I feel like it's the first week that I've had in quite a while where I haven't had like a series of back-to-back -back doctor's appointments or just things going on. And I feel like it's the first week, knock on wood, knock on literally everything, where I feel like I... I'm a little bit back to normal. Today's Monday, I just got off my first call of the day and I decided before my next call that I would quickly start the vlog, say good morning. We're starting off the morning with the decaf coffee. I think it's gonna be a fairly tame week. I already had some meetings that got canceled and my meetings are pretty evenly distributed throughout the whole week. Some weeks I'll have meetings back to back the entire day. I'll wake up at 6.30, get on my laptop at 7 and I'll have meetings from like 7 to 3, which if you guys are new around here, I work East Coast hours, but I'm in the Midwest currently. So I work 7 to 3 every day and I'll have meetings literally back to back from 7 to 3. And those are my least favorite days to have because then I can't just operate as a normal human. Like I barely have time to make lunch, use the bathroom, take a break, just chill out. I like the days where things are kind of evenly spaced and I have a little bit of break to do other work related things but also just life related things. These weeks are my favorite weeks. The weeks where I have back to back things are not necessarily my favorite even though I do like being busy at work because being busy at work means my work day gets over soon and I just am constantly entertained. So that's that. Anyways, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy and I'm excited to get this week started. I'll give you a minute. Yeah, give me a minute. I need to know why Australia has the cutest boutiques and what we're doing in the US because every single time I find cute clothes that aren't like your basic Abercrombie, Revol, Princess Polly, Free People, whatever it may be, they're always based out of Australia and I'm not complaining because I don't mind buying stuff from Australia especially if there's free shipping but the return process is a pain in the butt. So let's hope I don't have to return anything from this package. And yes, we're doing a little bit of a haul. I've been trying to diversify my wardrobe just a little bit. I'm just really tired of seeing the same things over and over and over again from Abercrombie, Free People, Revolve, Anthropology. I'm just super over it. So I've been trying to branch out and look for new smaller businesses to shop from. And I stumbled across this brand, I think via Instagram ads, like I get targeted on Instagram and honestly, they win. Like I get targeted and they do their job because I end up purchasing stuff. I purchased a few things from this brand Sundays and I actually do think that they sell this brand on Revolve so it's not that far-fetched, but I bought stuff directly from their website. They were having a sale, a 20% off sale a few days ago, and I'd been eyeing some things for a while, so I just decided to bite the bullet and splurge on some items for spring and hope that it all works out in my favor and that I don't have to return. First item that we purchased is, I'm gonna stand up for this one, is this long brown bodycon dress with cutouts, it's also one shoulder. I thought this would be super cute in the summer with some like platform wedges or heels or stuff. I have some fun trips this summer planned and I just wanted some more staple pieces to wear. So I bought this. I'm gonna have to try it on obviously. Also I think everything that I purchased is in a size medium. Do with that information what you would like. Next item is another dress. This one I'm really excited about. I'm gonna have to figure out the undergarment situation because it's a little see-through. I feel like if I just wore nude underwear and a nude bra, it'd be fine. Next dress is another one shoulder moment. Clearly we're very into that. It's another long dress, kind of like a crochet knit material. This is what it looks like up close. 
I just thought this was like the perfect beachy summer dress. But I do need to figure out some undergarments for that. And then the next two items are the whole reason that I ended up on the Sunday website. This is what I got targeted for on Instagram. And they won. They really did. Oh wow. Very see-through. Okay. So this is the top. I think this is so fun and so cute. I honestly don't know if it's gonna fit me because I have the bigger chest obviously and this is super see-through but this is so cute and it has a little open tie moment. This is the times where I wish I had a little bit of a smaller chest because I feel like I have a hard time buying and wearing tops like that even though they're really cute. And then this is the matching skirt. They don't sell them as a set but it is a set so I just bought both and this is another one where we're gonna have to figure out the undergarment situation because it is very see-through this is the skirt it's just super flowy very um is this iridescent or like translucent i don't know what you would call it when you can see through it but this with this i just thought these two together were so cute yeah i don't know if we'll end up keeping it though because it is very see-through and i know myself well enough to know that if i don't find undergarments to go under this i will keep it and never wear it and then end up selling it one day but i do think it's a very cute summery or spring beachy item so that's all i got from sundays i actually have another package coming in the mail later i purchased the sweat set from dairy boy if you guys don't follow Paige lorenz that's her brand and she did a drop recently for a matching camo sweat set and i purchased because I am obsessed with it. I've been eyeing a camo sweatshirt off of the Abercrombie website for about a month now and it hasn't come back in stock and I haven't been able to find it. So when she released this Dairy Boy camo set that was pretty similar to the Abercrombie one, I was like, we're splurging. I also saw a ton of influencers wear it when they got it in their PR package and it looks so cute on them. So I'm very excited for that to come in, but I don't think it'll come in until later today. It's like a USPS package. We'll have to wait and see. Part of me wants to try these on now just to see what they look like and to show you guys. And another part of me doesn't feel like taking off my clothes right now. I'm hoping these work out. If they don't, I'm gonna have to pay the return shipping label, which is my qualm with Australian boutiques is that normally it's gonna be like $20. To ship items back but sometimes you just have to take the chance and hope that it works out and if it doesn't you take the out i ignore the ski stuff everywhere but this is the first dress i actually really like it it's definitely see-through so i think i'd have to just wear some like nude underwear and bra or like a nude swimsuit i don't really know but i think this is so cute for like a beachy summer look i really like it I think it'd be really cute with some heels or some wedges. I like. I think I just need to find the right undergarments like I was saying. Okay, this one's also super cute. I'm not one for maxi dresses normally, but I feel like this one works. I don't know, I just feel like not maxi dresses sometimes make me look shorter than I actually am. I love the top part of this. I didn't have to wear a bra with it because the dress is like a very thick, tight material. I don't think it's like too tight, but it kind of like sucks you in so that's really nice and also this was on sale this is like a double sale item so that's really nice and then the back has like a little slit so you can walk in i'm only showing you the bottom because the top is so translucent that it's actually crazy but i love 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 this skirt i'm just nervous about how translucent it is and the idea to wear like nude undergarments under it may not even be enough <laughs> John just came in when I tried this on. He was like, wow, I can see everything. And I was like, okay, if that's his impression of this, I can only imagine what strangers would think. So I could either wear this skirt as like a beach cover up. I really wish it wasn't as translucent because I feel like this would be literally so cute. And I'm obsessed with the color and the pattern of it. But just in regards to how much I would wear it for the price that I paid for it, I just don't think it's worth it. So I do think that this set in general will be returned. Also, I tried it on the top. Not even gonna show you the top because the top is so small on me, like does not fit whatsoever. So I think this set's going back, but I feel like the two dresses were a win. So two out of the four items worked. Kind of a success, kind of a fail because now I have to figure out how to return these two items to Australia. We've wrapped up with work for the day. I went and got blood done, blood drawn, blood done, blood drawn. I took eight vials out of my arm. I don't think I've ever had 
that much blood drawn in my life and I thought I was gonna feel really lightheaded after because eight vials just seems like a lot but I'm surprisingly fine so I'm gonna go downstairs to the gym and get a little workout in this is the fit we're wearing a t-shirt leggings hokas you know the vibes and we'll see how long I go for because I do feel a little wobbly but I don't feel lightheaded from the blood I think it's just the everyday life what's your nightly routine looking like um and hang out a little bit. Probably go to the gym at some point. Maybe hit the tub. The hot tub? Yeah. We got the water working again, I saw. I knew it had something to do with the hot water repairs. But apparently- so. I didn't get that email. Our water stopped working for a little bit today. Yeah. <laughs> so that inspired you to go to the hot tub later? Well, they're doing hot tub uh, stuff tomorrow too. So check your email. We're getting blown up about it. Noted. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Also, her branding is just on point. I'm obsessed. Oh, and they include stickers. How freaking cute. Oh, I love that. I can't wait to put one on my Kindle. Let's open up the crew neck first. Wow, this material is actually so good. I'm surprised. It smells a little funky, not gonna lie. Wow, this is a huge sweatshirt. <laughs> I probably could have done the medium, but I got a size large how freaking cute wow obsessed that's the sweatshirt and then sweatpants i think these are going to become my new favorite sweatpants wow theirs are so soft and matching sweatpants i got these in a size medium because i didn't want them to be too big but how stinking cute and they have a little pocket on the back I don't have any sweatpants that flare at the bottom or are straight leg. All of my sweatpants cinch, so these will be new to add to the collection. Oh my god, I love. I'm so freaking excited. Wow, the quality is really good. I was a little scared about the quality because I've heard on some of their previous drops that the quality hasn't been great, but I think that they definitely took in the feedback and improved because she's stunning. I'm going to have to wash it before I wear it because it does smell a little factory-ish, but I am obsessed. Wow, this is such a good investment. I'm impressed. Shout out Paige Lorenz. She knows how to make a sweat set. I don't know what, why, why is it happening? sun is coming in so aggressively, but look how stinking cute the sweat set is. I love it. Also quality, 10 out of 10, like just so good. Catch me in the sweat set for the next week because I'm not taking it off. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I am exhausted this morning. I did not sleep that well last night. I need to take these out of my ear because they like muffle my voice and I can't hear myself. I did not sleep that well last night. I don't know what it is, but I woke up in the middle of the night and just like couldn't really go back to sleep after that. I also just was having back to back very weird dreams. So the dreams kept waking me up. So overall, just not the best night's sleep, to be honest. And I'm exhausted because of that. So I'm going to make a decaf latte. I know there's no caffeine in it, but I'm hoping we'll have a little bit of a placebo effect going on. Because I, one, am in the mood for a latte. I haven't made a latte in a minute. And two, I just don't know what else to do, honestly. Because I am literally about to like fall asleep at work. So... We're making a latte. I have switched over from oat milk to almond milk. This is the almond milk brand with the organic vanilla flavor. It's supposed to have really clean ingredients. It just has filtered water, organic almonds, pure organic vanilla extract made from vanilla beans, Himalayan pink salt, and almonds. There's no gums, dairy, fillers, binders, gluten, carotenin, carotenin, however you say that. Oh, I'm supposed to shake it well and enjoy within seven to ten days of opening so it goes bad You guys know that I'm an oat milk girl, but oat milk has a lot of additional gums and preservatives and Unnecessary ingredients in it. So I'm trying to find a cleaner brand That I like and I've heard okay things about almond milk. Oh, it's kind of watery though. We'll see. So I'm gonna do this and see how it goes. I'm a little terrified, I'm not gonna lie. But maybe because it has the vanilla flavor, it'll be a little better. Let's test this out. 
it's already separating. This is my least favorite thing when it comes to plant-based milks is that for some reason, the coffee ends up chunky. And I don't know if I'm gonna love that because sometimes it creates like a bizarre texture. I have a feeling this is gonna be a fail because it's already separating. And I feel like it makes it chunky when it does that. Okay, honestly, not that bad. I don't taste chunks. It just looks kind of bizarre. I put a little bit of vanilla syrup in it. Okay, I actually like the flavor. I don't like that it separates, though. That really freaks me out. I don't think you guys can see it. When the coffee, like, separates from the milk. It freaks me out. If you guys have any tips for how to prevent coffee from doing that with a plant-based milk, please let me know. Because this freaks me out. But the flavor is good. If I just shut my eyes while I drink my coffee, no problem. <laughs> You guys are resting on top of my Stanley, so if it's wobbly, that's why. It's been a minute since I've updated the vlog. It is now 2 p.m. I have an hour left at work, and it's been a semi-productive day. Honestly, I haven't had too much going on, which is nice because I was able to take care of some medical things that I had to do. I had to schedule another appointment. Unfortunately, it's on Saturday at 1.15 p.m., but you have to do what you have to do. It was the first appointment that I could get. Saturday, honestly, is ideal in and of itself because I don't have to take off time from work or rush after work or whatever it may be. So I am kind of glad that it's on a day off of work. So don't like the time, like the day, whatever. I've also made a few other calls to my doctors. We're just getting like life tasks done today while work is chill. My work day is gonna ramp up a lot tomorrow and Thursday, so I'm taking the time to appreciate the slower day from yesterday and today. I said it once and I'll say it again. I'm obsessed with this sweat set. I actually just made a TikTok in this sweat set. I'll post it in this vlog, but you should also follow me on TikTok if you're a TikTok gal. Do we actually think it's gonna get banned? That's the question of the week. I don't think it's gonna get fully banned. I heard that they may make like restrictions on it moving forward, but I don't think the app is gonna get like fully deleted from our phones. I just think that this is like the yearly freak out of, oh my God, TikTok is gonna get banned. I think we'll be okay. I really do think we'll be okay. And even if it does get banned, there are so many other platforms out there that you'll be able to consume content. Like I feel like Instagram would become the new TikTok and people would just move to Reels and then YouTube would make a comeback, which honestly, I'm here for YouTube making the comeback. I know it never fully went away for some people, but I do feel like it's died down a little bit within the last couple of years and I would love for YouTube to have its moment and make its comeback because this is my favorite platform and I would love, honestly, if all of my favorite creators started to make long form content and obviously would love to grow the audience as well. So. I'm here for YouTube making a comeback if TikTok gets banned, personally, but I really don't think it's gonna get banned. I think it's just the annual freak out. After work, I'm thinking I'm gonna go get a workout in. It's like 60 degrees outside, I think. 63, so I do think that it's gonna be a walk outside kind of day because I like to soak up the warm weather when we have it here. Denver is very unique in the fact that one day it could be 63 and sunny and then the next day could be an actual snowstorm last week was a perfect example of that where we had 60 degree days during the weekend and then throughout the week i think it was like tuesday or wednesday of last week there was a massive snowstorm that hit and a lot of things shut down like all workout classes shut down a lot of doctor's offices shut down we basically just like hung out <laughs> inside and waited for the weather to pass by. Actually, I think it was Thursday of last week, not Tuesday or Wednesday, but apparently they're calling for a potential another snowstorm next week on Monday. So I wanna get the warm weather and some vitamin D in while we have it. So I think after work, I'm gonna go for like an hour long walk. I'm in the mood to go for a really long walk. I also read today that apparently with this syndrome that I have, you're not supposed to walk on or utilize stationary machines that have you going in a forward motion because it can not make what I have worse but like obviously won't help me progress towards getting rid of it fully so 
treadmills are off limits obviously ellipticals and there were a few other items that it listed i don't know my dad found this website he's been doing research too and he sent it to me so i was like reviewing it and i've been walking on the treadmill for at least 30 40 minutes some days when it's not nice outside to get a little bit of movement in and i think i'm gonna have to stop doing that because I do notice that I'm a little dizzy on the treadmill, but I'm kind of dizzy just 24 seven, unless I'm in a car. The car is the only place that I don't feel like I'm dizzy, which is very bizarre, but it is what it is. I think I'm gonna have to cut back on the treadmill and just stick with either the bike or walking outside because the bike they said was fine. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to reconfigure the workouts. Also, you're not supposed to do like repetitive motions when working out I think is what it said so like weightlifting I haven't been weightlifting but weightlifting is off limits we're trying to get into the physical therapist hopefully by either end of this week or next week because I am just ready to get this figured out I'm also ready for the physical therapist to tell me like what workouts I should be doing on my own to help progress instead of regress is that a word regress yeah regress that is a word look at me go so I'm ready to just feel better in general, but I'm ready to have some sort of direction and information that isn't just Google, if that makes sense. So anyways, this was very chatty. I just wanted to give you guys an update because I haven't talked to the vlog all day. We're gonna wrap up the work day and then go for a walk outside. It's beautiful out. It's like blue skies, minimal clouds, 64 degrees, honestly the ideal spring day. Finished up the workout for the day. I went for a 45 minute walk outside. It's literally stunning. It's so beautiful out. I am so happy I ended up doing that because it was much needed. So I did that and then I came back to our apartment gym and did 20 minutes of Pilates. And then John and I just ran to Whole Foods. We're doing turkey burgers for dinner tonight. I got turkey burgers from Trader Joe's the other day and I decided that since it's nice out we might as well grill so we're gonna do that with some potatoes and broccoli so we had to run to Whole Foods I got some chicken salad for sandwiches for the week we have Olipop I love that they sell them in the four pack case now because it just makes my life easier if they start selling it in a 24 pack I'm your girl I will be there hamburger buns for John and then he also got some bread for the week and then we got bananas for smoothies it was just a lot of me like, doing a little bit different this time. I'm not my shelves recently because Hello you guys, happy Wednesday. I just made my second breakfast of the day. I had yogurt with granola earlier, but now I'm eating pancakes and turkey bacon. I've been eating two breakfasts lately because when I get up and eat right at 7 a.m., I'm hungry a few hours later at like 10 a.m. So I've been eating double breakfast recently, which is not great, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you eat food. Anyways, I've been up since 7 a.m. and I feel like the second that I opened up my work laptop, I just got like swamped with things. If only you guys could see my to-do list for today, it's actually very overwhelming and I'm avoiding a lot of it. So that's not great, I need to tackle it. I think after I eat, I'll be able to focus a little bit more, but that's how my morning has been. I also feel like I kind of didn't vlog that much yesterday, but nothing really went on. I went to the gym like you guys saw and what did we do later on? We made dinner. We had turkey burgers on the grill with potatoes, broccoli, and a salad. And then I feel like I just hung out. Like I didn't do much the rest of the evening. I watched TikToks, read, you know, the usual stuff. So you guys didn't really miss anything. And now I'm up and at them this morning. I slept better last night than I did the previous night. I know the previous night I was saying that I did not sleep well at all. And I feel like I actually was able to sleep okay last night. Like I wasn't exhausted this morning when I woke up. So that's good. Today's already off to a better start. I think I mentioned yesterday that today and tomorrow we're gonna be a very, very busy work day. So I'm gonna be like heads down on my laptop for the majority of today. I have this like little makeshift desk setup situation that I have going on with our dining room table. I basically just like pulled it out from the wall, swung the chair around, and have set it up with like a ton of stuff.
If it looks like I just woke up from a nap, it's because I did. I fell asleep on the couch after work for like 30 minutes and then decided that I needed to not do that because you guys know that if I end up taking a nap, it means that either I'm going to get sick, I'm currently sick, or if I keep taking the nap, I'm just not gonna feel good after. So I woke myself up. I don't know why or how I fell asleep on the couch. I think it was because I snuggled up with a blanket and that's just like what did me in. I needed to one, not lay down on the couch the way that I did. And two, just really not cozy up with a blanket. I took an unexpected nap after work, but it was a really busy day. I sat at that table. It was pulled out from the water layer literally the entire day. I had back-to-back -back things going on and also I didn't even knock out everything on my to-do list because today was so busy. So I'm gonna have a jam-packed day, probably tomorrow and Friday as well, unfortunately, just trying to get everything crossed off. I need to wake up, um, so I think I'm gonna go for a walk outside. It's another 63 degree day, so it's stunning outside and it's sunny and beautiful and the skies are blue, so I wanna get some vitamin D in and move my body a little bit. I don't know if I'll end up doing Pilates today or anything in the gym downstairs. I may just go for a walk and call it a day that way. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna vibe check after I wake up a little bit. I'm also listening to The Toast on YouTube, which is like a new podcast that I've been obsessed with. I think I mentioned that to you guys. So I'm gonna continue listening to that, wake myself up, go for a walk, and then come back here. We'll see what we end up doing for dinner. We have a ton of leftovers actually, so I wouldn't be opposed to eating some of these leftovers that are in the fridge to try to get them down because we're running out of containers. So we'll probably just end up doing that. Very chill night. But let's go outside. Let's get the walk in. I actually first need to change because I'm still wearing my sweats from earlier. And I want to put on some leggings. in the bedroom because John is playing video games in the living room and I just took a shower as you can tell by the wet hair I went for a three mile walk honestly much needed I went for like 60 minutes so like a little bit over an hour and then actually ended up going for a second walk because I got back and John was back from his errands and he was like do you want to go for another walk by chance I said only if it's a walk to the ice cream place that's in low high so we ended up walking all the way over to Little Man Ice Cream, which is a really well-known ice cream place in Denver. You've probably seen pictures of it if you've looked up things to do in Denver. I feel like it's one of those things that pops up on like the top 10 recs for Denver. But the ice cream stand is inside like a giant old milk jug, I think is what it's supposed to be, like a tin milk jug. There's tons of outdoor seating, they have tons of flavors, they have cookie sandwiches, sundaes, milkshakes, pup cups, pup cones, you name it, they have it. It was pretty good. I wouldn't say it was like my favorite ice cream that I've ever had, but I would go back. I would maybe try a different flavor. I got mint chocolate chip this last time, which I feel like you either really like mint chocolate chip or you really hate it. There's no in between. And I definitely fall on the really liking mint chocolate chip. There's just something about it that's super refreshing to me. So I got that and it was good. Wasn't the best thing I've ever had, but I would say it was like decent. I would highly recommend if you are coming to Denver, if you live in the Denver area, just for the experience to be honest. So that was nice. Um, we ended up doing that before dinner. So it's like seven o'clock now and I'm not hungry for dinner yet. But like I said earlier, I think we're just doing leftovers. So I'm gonna lay in bed for a little bit and maybe watch some Netflix or just chill out and then probably heat up some leftovers later. But I'm already in bed, as you can see, because one, John is playing video games out there, and two, I just have a desire to lay in bed right now. So that's what we're gonna do. Good morning. Happy Friday. <laughs> oh, it's been such a long week. I'm so excited that today's Friday. I need to take this set off because I look creepy. <laughs> I didn't vlog yesterday, mainly because I sat at my work desk yesterday and worked non-stop from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Like, I'm not even kidding. I think I took my lunch while working yesterday. I took breakfast while working yesterday. I think I had like one 15 minute break all day, but I had so much to get done. And honestly, a lot of it trickled into today too. 
So I feel like today's gonna be kind of long too, but not as hectic as yesterday. Yesterday almost sent me over the edge. I didn't vlog at all yesterday because it would not have been very interesting to vlog and I was just very stressed out and busy. So that was my work day yesterday and then after work, I went downstairs and did kind of like a half-assed workout. I forced myself to do 30 minutes on the Peloton bike and then I tried to do Pilates and honestly, neither were doing it for me. I really just did not wanna be on the Peloton bike and I ended up cutting the Pilates class short by like five minutes because I was just not in the mood to do it. So yesterday's workout was kind of a bust and then we had steak and mashed potatoes for dinner last night. So that was my day. You guys didn't miss anything. I'm gonna start my morning by getting ready. I need to do some skincare and brush my teeth. It's like 7.30 and I haven't done any of that. I sat on the couch for the first 30 minutes of my day because I can, because I needed to and wanted to. So that's how we're starting off this morning. I just wanted to pick up a vlog and say good morning, happy Friday. We'll see what we get up to today. pretty much done with all the work that I have to do. I have like two more things on my work to-do list, but I had two hour long back-to-back -back meetings. I've been in meetings for two hours straight, so I'm giving myself a little bit of a break to chill out. I might make an early lunch. I had turkey bacon, granola, and this like egg thing for breakfast. I bought these eggs from Whole Foods yesterday because they look like the ones at Starbucks sells it's the egg bites with uncured bacon and cheddar cheese but i don't know how i feel about them the only cooking instructions that it had was to cook it in the microwave so i did that and when i cooked it in the microwave the top of it burnt so i could only eat like half of the egg and the part that i could eat i wasn't too thrilled about the flavor it kind of icked me out a little bit so i don't know if i'll be repurchasing these but i did have this for breakfast i actually just made a nail appointment to get my nails done after work. I'm gonna do a gel manicure and gel pedicure. I haven't been getting my nails done since like I've had the whole sickness thing happen. I got a pedicure with my mom two, three weeks ago now, but the second that I got the pedicure done, I messed up the polish because I had to put shoes on. Honestly, I feel like my feet could use a pedicure more frequently than I'm giving them because I obviously work out a lot, so I'm in a lot of tennis shoes. I walk a lot. We ski, I haven't skied in a minute, but we ski and I just feel like my feet kind of get crusty really fast so I want to start getting a pedicure more regularly and when I get gel polish, the gel polish typically lasts pretty long and this last time I got regular polish so I'm going to go get a gel pedicure today and then I'm going to do a gel manicure as well I feel like I can finally sit in a nail salon seat without feeling lightheaded because I've been practicing sitting in these seats all week with work and I can officially sit in those seats without feeling like I'm rocking back and forth 24 seven. Like I feel more stable. So I feel like I'll be fine at the nail salon getting my hands done now. I don't know, we'll see. So that's my plan for after work. And then John's sister and her boyfriend, they actually live in Denver. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. They moved to Denver last fall. And we haven't seen them in a minute because I haven't been feeling that great. So we're gonna do a game night here. We played Catan with them last game night, and it was like my first time ever playing Catan, and I really liked it. And then we also have Yahtzee. John and I have like a recent Yahtzee fixation. <laughs> so that's kind of the game plan for after work, but we're obviously not even close to after work yet. It's only 11.13 and I get done at three. So we have a few more hours of minuscule tasks, but I think I'm gonna get a little snack going, sit on the couch, probably put on the toast, and finish up the rest of the tasks that I have to do for the work day so that the second half of my day goes by really fast and I don't have to get anything done. That is the goal, I think, here. I'm back from the nail appointment. I got blue on my fingers. I feel like whenever I don't know which color to go with, I always just default to blue, but this one's really, really pretty. I don't know the specific name of it, but it's one of the OPI ones. I feel like she did such a good job. I go to, or I've been going to, nail story over by confluence park 
near downtown Denver and Lohi. It's kind of like in between the two. And I would highly recommend. I've had good experience both times I've gone and then I got green on my toes, which you can't see it because I'm wearing socks and I'm not taking the socks off.